How you doing? Finally, we've got the Chisk family together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Balzan is joining in. They're very happy. There it is. We've got the flavors of summer. We've got from very strong to zero. So I don't know what it's going to taste like. We've got our glass. Glass from Farsons Direct. Thank you, guys. He's giving me a free glass. It's got the Maltese cross on it and everything. Look down here. Anyway, guys, we're going to start. Don't need to twist that round a little bit more. Maybe better, eh? Sun's came out. It's windy. I've got my Hobbs Bazaar. I don't know what the festival this is. Gargur. They've been, they've been doing some uh, Multali. They call those Bomba. That's, there's no fireworks. Mm. I just is a simple Hobbs Bazaar. Listen, the whole family is here. The Chisk family. We've got the strong, the pilsner. The zero should be down here, really, eh? Get in your place, you. Excel. And just the normal lager. And this is the zero. The chisk, um, it's like, I think they call it chill. Lemon. It's uh, like a black currant, a berry, mixed berries. And the ginger, I'm really looking forward to this. Ginger and lime. Listen, last, last week <laughs> I did it as well, but I realized that the microphone wasn't working, so I had to do it all again. And maybe it'll happen again, guys. Maybe next week I'll have to do it all over again. Testing, one, two, three. Oh, no. <laughs> let's, let's get going, guys, because lunch is almost ready. I put it in the oven. I got some Hobbs Bazaar, just to, just to refresh uh, the, uh, the palate, you know, you know where it is. A typical bar, because normally when you go to bars in Malta, have a beer, they give you these appetizers. Uh, you get all sorts, octopus and uh, kirusha. Anybody had kirusha, guys? I think that's the way you pronounce it. It's the insides. <laughs> anyway, let's get started before this wind starts. I've been debating whether to do it this morning, because it's been quite windy. I can't put the sun thing over, so it's a bit hot, because it was flapping like crazy. How will we start, guys? Let's start with the strong. I never had this one before. I never had Pilsner before. Excel I had, I don't really like it. Obviously the, ch the normal Chisk I've had. The Zero I've never had, but I'm not really expecting much. I've tried the lemon a long time ago. When uh, Carolyn came over, we had the lemon over the, when we get off the boat. The berry I've never tried and uh, ginger, never tried it. So let's start. We're gonna start with this Strong. Let's move these out of the way for a bit, guys. Put them down here. Hey. I don't know how the plan. If it doesn't work out, just have to do it again next week. Never mind. This is the strong. I don't know. Let's give it a go. Hope the microphone's working, guys. The wind is dying down and it's getting hot. Oh, yeah, you can feel that strong. Very nice. Very hot. <laughs> Lovely and chilled. Yeah, you can feel when the strong gets going down here. Oh, I must stop. This is hopeless at the moment. I've wrote away to uh, Rhodes microphone. I had to put a bit of sellotape over a 250 quid microphone or whatever it costs. Hey, I like that. It's got a nice bite to it. Any idea, guys, where the name Chisk came from? I'll, I'll put it in the comments. Put it in now, so you don't cheat. And no Googling. The name was ages ago. Simon Farsons Chisk. Came, uh, I put underneath when it, was, when it was brewed. And it's been brewed true to that recipe for many years now. I forget how, I forget how long ago, but a long time ago. On the next beer, I'll tell you where the name come from. Chisk, not sisk. Many English come over and say, oh, give me a sisk. Uh, but the bar, the bar guy knows what you're talking about. 
Everybody calls it a cisk after the six or seven pints anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one. It's the Pilsner. Lovely color. Oh, I didn't show you the strong, but anyway. Color is really nice. This is the Pilsner. Any idea what a Pilsner is, guys? Is it the way they brew it? I'll have to research that, I didn't look. Oh, completely different taste, though. To the strong, on the same par. Oh, that's nice, Breeze. Let's hope we don't get too much. <laughs> yeah, I like the Pilsner. Nice, that's, that's a Pilsner. Bit of bread, eh? These you'll find, uh, guys, expats will know what it is. I do it a bit quick. Some uh, tomato puree, unless you can find really mushy tomatoes, then you can squash it on the bread. Some oil, olive oil, extra virgin. Some onions and some tomatoes. Fresh Maltese bread, of course. Let's go for the egg cell. I don't like the Excel. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go anyway. It's, um, Excel is low on carbs. So it's a bit of a diet sort of thing. Let's clean my palate. Mm. It's a delicate little one from, when did they make this? 18 something. <laughs> mm. I don't like this at all. No, I never got on with Excel. It's got a really strange taste for me. I'm gonna finish it anyway, eh? Waste not, want not. Yeah, it's too, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what to, how to pinpoint it, the taste. It's Excel, low on carbs, carbohydrate, I don't know. Uh, doing that, they've taken the taste a bit strange. To me, it seems a bit more gassy. Does it to you guys? Have you ever tried it? Have you ever... Tell me which is your favorite out of these in the comments below. When you tell me how the name Chisk came. I'm gonna tell you at the end. Mmm, that gives you a lot of gas. Low on carbs. The normal Chisk. And the zero Chisk. This video, there's going to be some burps, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a zero. I'm not ho holding much hopes for it. <laughs> zero. Zero, zero, zero point zero. Not even a zero. It's got the same sort of taste, guys. But you don't get drunk on it. What's the fun of that? It's got like a bit of a, you know when you cook Coke Zero? I'd like to know actually, do they put, how do they do that? How do they get rid of the sugar out of the beer to make it a zero? Do they lose those uh, saccharins? Because that's the taste it's got. It's got like a dull taste. <clears throat> and a bit of an aftertaste. That's the zero guys. I won't be drinking much zero, I think. The traditional chisk, brewed, I'll tell you underneath. Actually, that zero didn't have a, much gas. Is it a, is it a thing of that, maybe? All the rest had a nice, <laughs> traditional chisk, guys. Beautiful color. Beautiful glass. Thank you, Farsons Direct. Listen, I'm not getting paid for any of this. <laughs> they wouldn't give me anyway. They're tight to ask Farsons. The lads give me a glass. Thanks very much. It's a lovely, lovely glass. They actually gave me three glasses. Yeah, I could drink this all the time, Chess. This has got a lovely taste. The others have got like slightly different taste to them. Anyway, we're battling on in the wind, guys. But actually, it's calmed down a little bit. Get those little bit of a gust. 
Temperature's gone down to about early 30s, something like that, I think. Oh, the sun's coming out bright, but there's a bit of cloud. I'm going to clean my palette because we've got the three kids of the family. We've got Dad, Mr. Strong. Mom is the Pilsner. A zero is the baby, I would imagine, hey? Excel, an uncle. And the Jisk. I don't know. <laughs> and the three kids. With the flavors. Let's clean the palette, guys. Wow. Very cloudy over there by St. Anton Gardens. But coming from the north. That's the north there, by the way, guys. Behind me is Balzan. Many people ask me, What's that, guys? What's that church behind you? It's Balzan Church. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's, it's right behind me. Leah is over there. Brickacara is there. And the north up there. Oh, I got small my tomatoes. Oh, lovely. I love this. Lovely. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five down, three to go. We're with this mandling the Chisk family. As I say, I've tried this lemon before, over by the blue grotto. It went down lovely. Beautiful colour. The same as Chisk. I really remember this. Very refreshing. Ideal for summer. I think that's where they bought it out. Have I got some tomato, guys? <laughs> I don't give a damn, eh? <laughs> hey, try this, guys. It's lovely for the summer. Lovely and refreshing. It's a like a... A bit like a shandy, with a bit more bite, I would imagine. Something like that. It's a lemon. But it's uh, more complex than a, than a shandy. Still got a really nice chis taste with a, with a lemon in it. Yeah, I love this. Even when I tried it last time. Lovely. Chis lemon. Two to go, guys. Two more to go. Let's have a bit of chis. Which one shall we go for first? I'm looking forward to this one. Because when I realised the mic wasn't working, I hadn't done this one yet. And I hadn't done this one. And I cut a bit and I thought, uh, let me just do a test. <laughs> Good job I did. But I wasted it anyway, because I'd, I'd opened the bottles. I had to go and buy some more bottles. Do you know that, guys? This is videos cost me double. <laughs> We're going to go for the berry first. We're going to leave this one for the last one. Oh, look at the colour, guys. <laughs> look at the colour. And straight away you open it. That smell. Yeah, it's like... Uh, how could I explain huh? that? That smell. You remember Ribena, guys? A bit... A bit dull of Ribena, but beautiful colour. Look at that. Oh, yeah, lovely taste. What a taste. Beautiful colour, nice taste. What could be better? Could be better sipping it on a boat somewhere in the, <laughs> near the sea. Hey, I like that one. I'm not getting away from the original taste of Chisk, because you can drink that every day, all day, any time of year. <clears throat> but for the summer, for a nice break, I couldn't. You know, these, these, uh, this one and this one. It's a nice, refreshing one or two drinks. 
but you were going to have a few drinks, you know, like if you were going to have a bit of a boozy night. I think it would, uh, me anyway, it would, it would really uh, get me, that taste. You know, like say you go somewhere and you think to yourself, oh, I'm going to just have a nice refreshing drink. But I want a bit of beer, not just a, not just a lemonade. These are lovely. But as for like a drink in the evening, I think this one's out. Excel is out, zero is out. So these are, these are like out for an evening out. I think the strong one you'd be on your back. <laughs> cause, it, cause it's strong. The Pilsner, I always thought Pilsner was a strong beer. So, so what's the difference between those guys? Tell me in the comments, tell me what you think. Pilsner is a special sort of brew, maybe. Uh, I'll have to research it and maybe I'll put it underneath. And the original Chisk, you can't beat it. It's the, it's the one and only from way back. Anyway, it's coming soon, guys. Did you, do, did you put the comment why the name Chisk, where it came from? Where did they get the Chisk name from? It wasn't just a, it's got a certain thing. It's a, it's a reason why Chisk. I know it was a person that was involved in the brewery. But how did he get the name Chisk? Have a think about it and we'll open this one. Let's finish this off. This is lovely. I can't fault it. I can't fault the refreshing drinks, but as I say, wouldn't be the sort of drink that was, say, um, on a night out. I wouldn't drink it like uh, six or seven pints. Can you, can you notice, guys? We won again. That's all I'm going to say. And France will be up soon kicking your ass. <laughs> I think we played six, drew one, won five, something like that. I don't know. It was a last minute goal though. Hey, we left it to the last minute. West Brom, if you didn't know guys, I support West Brom. Even from a little toddler, I will remember going to West Brom Gown, the Hawthorns, and uh, lifting me over the turnstile. I can remember that from, the, uh, from many years ago. Oh wow, this is lovely. <coughs> this is the last one of the family, guys. The ginger. Ginger and lime. And I can't think what I can... Something's in my head, the taste. And I can't tie it to it. Was it like a lager, lemon and lime? You remember those guys, lemon and lime lagers in the old days? I think it's something what we used to have. And I want to do it, a replica of it, because us lads, when we was like 16, 17, we used to go and have, drink snake bites. Did you ever do that, guys? Snake bites, cider and lager. You used to pull the lager from the, from the pint then he used to put the, la the cider in. And you see it start. We were, you know what, out of our brains, eh? This, this is nice, I like this. I left it to the last because I was thinking, how am I gonna like this? A ginger and lime. But I like it very much. But like I say, I think these are sort of, you know, one off, maybe two or three, cans when you buy the sea in the summertime. It's not a main thing. I would go for the strong, I think. As a regular drink, I think I'd have a lager. I think I'd have the normal chisk lager. I don't know about the Pilsner. I think the strong is slightly better than the Pilsner for me. I would drink the chisk all the time. I really enjoy the chisk all the time. I had that double red the other day, guys. Did you watch the, uh, go back and have a look at the beer review on the double red. I'm tempted to try that a few times when I go out. But I think it would be too strong. I think it would be, uh, I like, uh, I like light drinks. You know what I used to drink in England? Uh, I know it's Australian, Castle Main 4X. That was just the right beer for me. I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, and sometimes I used to skip a, a bar I mean, I'm not a big drinker. I've never been a big drinker. But if we're going out for the night, maybe go for the lads here and there. 
Castle Main 4X was just just nice for me. And I think Chisk is just nice for me as well. It's just that nice, light drink. It takes a lot for me, doesn't it, Franz? It takes a lot for me to get drunk. He was on the coffee before me. <laughs> anyway, this is nice, ginger. There's too much sun, guys, and I can't put the shade on because that that wind keeps on coming. Anyway, why did Chisk? Where did they get the name from? Many many years ago, there was a guy. He was a banker. He was like uh, in the very. You're talking about way back when banks were just under trust, or right? he sort of give them money under trust. Many people in Malta many years ago used to leave the money in, at home in cardboard boxes. In fact, I, I have a big story, and I'll do, that, I'll do that story another time, of a wholesaler. He used to come in the shop, the sales, the, the son used to come in the shop many, many years ago. And he told me about this story, and I'll do that on a walk, I think. Uh, it's interesting, when he found this cardboard box in, the, in this, behind the wardrobe. Very interesting, where old people you never, trust, never trusted banks. Anyway, this guy, uh, he started a bank and he got a nickname because he, he thought of a way, like, he, why should people come into the bank? They had, he, had, uh, he had sort of, what do you call them, those sort of vaults where people used to put the money in. So say, say you want to go, you put all your money in the bank and it's in a vault, uh, in, a, in a, I forget the name it's called, in a sort of box in a cash box. And the bank used to take care of your cash. Say you want to buy something, I don't know, like a uh, carotene. You go to the, the box, you take your money out, you can go and buy it. He said, wouldn't it be a good idea if actually you could have a piece of paper? You just sign it and I'll, I'll honor the, that piece of paper. I mean, we're talking about one of the biggest guys in Malta that came out with this. He came out with a check. You can just do, write a check and he'll, he'll honor the check and he'll take it out your money and things like that. And it went, it went from there. And he used to call uh, uh, because the illiterate people, they couldn't pronounce very good. So it was, they call him Ichisk instead of Ichek. So his name was like Ichisk. He had a nickname because many, many, I, I'm not sure if the expats would know. Obviously the expats would know, but tourists, many, Morty's people have nicknames to resemble what they do. Uh, maybe he's a bodybuilder or he's a, he repairs cars and things like that. He gets that nickname from school and things like that. And his name was Ichisk. So like he, he was invented the chisk. So um, we're skipping a few years now. Uh, Farsons were like expanding and, uh, and then he came in uh, Simon Farsons and Ichisk because it was his nickname. So that's where the name come from. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I love the beers. I can't fault any of them. I wouldn't go for the Zero, and I wouldn't go for the Excel. Strong is nice. I don't think I stay on it all night. Pilsner, take it or leave it. I always like the Chisk itself. And the fruit ones, we're talking about summer drinks, really. If you come out, like you want to go to the beach and you want to have a quick something refreshing, but you want a little bit of alcohol with it. That's, that's fantastic. That's the, well done, Chisk. I don't get paid for this, guys, just to let you know. Uh, I'm just doing it as a, a bit of fun, like I did the beer drink. Maybe I'll get onto some wine. Any ideas, let me know in the comments. Somebody told me to go over to some craft beers. Somebody told me to go over to some bars. Listen, guys, I've got a massive, massive problem to go over. Even I've skipped many breakfast ones in Butchibo because the music is blaring. No, I don't really care about losing the revenue from the video. Just that if it's that certain music that, for example, if it's Cliff Richard, he's got certain things that he said, I don't want to uh, share it with anybody in these countries. And Malta is a country. So what they do, they just cut the video completely. So I spent research, time, going there, eating it, all this. Six months later, he just cut the video because he said, I don't want to share my music with people in Malta. It's up to him, it's his music. But I really try to find places. In fact, I've asked that one, uh, that one in Valletta, I asked them to turn the music down. 
she was all right, but she was quiet. But I'm sure if she wasn't quiet, she wouldn't have turned the music down. So it's a hassle, guys, to get uh, drinks or videos out without getting that copyright. And I, I still truly believe that YouTube won't promote your video if you've got a rock copyright strike on it. I don't, it's not really a strike, it's a copyright... I don't know what they call it, some kind of thing. You don't get a strike on it because there is something serious with, with YouTube. If you get three strikes, you get the channel deleted completely. But still, you don't earn any revenue. Uh, they give it to the, the Beatles or whoever it is. Anyway, I really enjoy that, guys. We did the family, the Chisk family. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to join me on all my videos on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. I'm really doing my best to keep up with this. Sometimes I'm right up to the line and I can't even manage to get a video, you know, with work and the weather. Because we're coming to like mixed weather now. Everybody mentioned that one. Go back and see this one. I'm going to I'm going to isolate the twister. Uh, we did a we did a walk over to uh, Ofregbir. It's a lovely, lovely place. If you're ever in Marsi Schlock, I'm not sure if you can. The walk is not too bad. If you like walking, you can walk up the top over the bank of Marsi Schlock. It's beautiful. It's worth a swim. Uh, if I was a strong swimmer, I would have loved it because it's a bit rocky but you need to be strong to get over the rocks. But you would love it, guys, I tell you. Anyway, we came across this twister. Uh, somebody in, uh, where was he? Oh, somewhere in America said we called it a dirt monster. Go and see it, guys, that video. I was shocked. I was coming around the corner and I thought, what's that? Is that, is that, a, is that a fire? And it was like twisting like this. No, it can't be a fire. There was, it's moving. Fires don't move. And it was like a, a mini tornado. It's worth a watch, guys. Take care, everybody. Please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, because I really need to get up to that 10,000. I'm very, very close. And uh, if you need me, I'm below. If you want to ask some questions, I had one this morning about coming over to Malta certain times a year, what sort of temperature it is. But we also got the group of Holiday Malta. There's many people that's really helpful there. They'll help you with any questions you want to answer. Come in. Come and join us on Holiday Malta and share your photographs. I know some people are on Holiday Malta and they, uh, they've been on holiday and they haven't shared their photographs. Just share one or two. We'd love to see it. Take care, everybody. Instagram below. Uh, I do a little bit of Twitter, but I'm not, really, I'm not really into that. I don't know what's going on. But Twitter, you get a joke every day. The joke of the day, Englishman. Take care, everybody. See you soon, Englishman in Malta. I hope you enjoyed it. The Chisk family. Subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.